performing the California bearing ratio test or the CBR test. Uh, for this test, we will require five kilograms of soil. Uh, this measuring cylinder contains 525 milliliters of water, which is roughly 10.5% uh, for this uh, moisture for the soil. This is the CBR mold. Uh, its dimensions are roughly 6 inches by 5 inches, 6 inches diameter, 5 inches height. And uh, its empty weight is 6.131 kilograms. So for the first step, we have to compact our soil inside the CBR mold. And if you recall the previous semester where you did the modified and standard proctor test, this is very similar to that. We will be using a 10 pound hammer that we used in the modified proctor test. We will be compacting the soil in five layers. And depending on the type of CBR, we will be doing the number of blows per layer vary. If you are doing a one point CBR, then you have to apply 56 blows per layer to each uh, layer of the uh, that you will be placing in your uh, mold and if you have to do a three point CBR then you have to perform three CBR tests in one mold you will compact the soil using 10 blows per layer in the second mold you will compact the soil using uh, 30 blows per layer and in one you will be compacting it using uh, 65 blows per layer. So to start off first we will mix the water into the soil and then by hand mix it evenly until all the moisture is evenly distributed throughout. the water is evenly mixed throughout in the soil, we will begin compacting it in the mold. Before that we have to attach this collar to the top of the mold. It's a threaded collar so you can rotate it and fix it properly so that it won't move. And now we will compact the soil in our mold in five layers. of this video I will only be using 10 blows per layer. Uh, this is one of the three that you use in a three point CBR. However, you can, uh, if you're just going to do a one point CBR, you have to apply 56 blows per layer. So that's one layer done. And now we will start placing in soil for the next layer. compacted all five layers 
you will remove the top collar and then trim the soil to make sure that it is completely flat and smooth at the top. After that, you will weigh the mold filled with the soil. Taking the blade, we will trim off the top. And remove any excess soil from the that is coming out of the top of the CBR mold. And then also taking that soil, we will fill in any depressions to ensure that there is a smooth layer on top. The weight of the mold plus the soil is 10.971 kilograms. Step, we will uh, lift our mold here up to this platform for the CBR uh, device. And this uh, device uh, raises this platform at a rate of 1.25 millimeter per minute. So after we place the CBR mold on top of this and place these two surcharge plates on the top of the mold, these plates have a hole in the center through which this piston will be guided through. As you can see, the piston can pass through the uh, plates. So we will then record at intervals of 25 on the deflection dial gauge the corresponding load gauge value and we will take the reading up to 500 on the deflection dial gauge. So first you will take it in multiples of 25 up to 300, then 350, 400 and then 500. Okay, so I'm going to place the assembly now. Uh, this is the overall assembly for the CBR test. We have our mold containing soil. These are two surcharge plates of five pounds each on top of it. This is our deflection dial gauge. Its least count is 0 .001, uh, uh, inches per division. And this is our load dial gauge. The PRC for this proving ring is 3.37 pounds per division. So now I'm going to start the test. And we're going to take the readings at 25, 50, Two seventy five, three hundred, three fifty, four hundred, and then five hundred. To turn on the machine, we will turn this switch. And once you turn on the switch, you can see that this lever has started to rotate. And this platform is slowly rising.
The actual time the plunger takes to penetrate into the soil by 0.5 inches or it takes for the deflection dial gauge to read from 0 to 500 is roughly 10 minutes. So for the purpose of saving time, I will be speeding up this following segment uh, to four times the actual speed only while the machine is running. At 25, the reading is 10. At 50, the reading is 42. At 75, the reading is 76. At 100 DDR, the LDR is 105. At 125, it's 135. At 150, it's 160. At 175, it's 183. At 200, it's 205. At 225, the load gauge reads 222. At 250, the load gauge reads 242. At 275, it's 260. At 300, it's 275. The next will be at 350. DDR and when it reaches 350 the value of the load gauge is 305 the next reading will be at 400 and then 500 at 400 it's 335 And at 500, the reading is 387. Okay, so that's the end of the using this uh, machine. Now we will bring down the assembly. Now, as you can see over here, this plunger or piston had penetrated half an inch deep into this uh, soil. So after this, what we do with this soil is we can take a piece off for moisture content determination and the rest we will proceed to our calculations.